Hello guys, welcome back to the Bench Collector Snake. Today we're not in our showroom as usual, but we're paying a visit to Jonkman Stofferingen in Heerenveen. He's doing a couple of products for us and he's going to show us what he does. So, let's meet the man in charge. Hi. Hi, welcome to Jonkman Stofferingen. Thank you. My name is Erik Jonkman, founder of uh, Jonkman Stofferingen, this workshop. And uh, let's, uh, let's show uh, you guys what we're working on. Great. So we have the, the white Mercedes. Um, we pulled this car uh, apart, of at least the interior. Um, so no seats, no, uh, no back seats. Uh, we uh, uh, pulled out the headliners. Um, we're gonna do some, uh, some of the door panels. Uh, basically, uh, uh, well, well, everything, the, the carpet is staying. So we clean this up. Uh, dashboard is still staying um, and the rest will be uh, 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 fully retrim in uh, beautiful uh, uh, blue leather with uh, Mercedes uh, grain so uh, everything is uh, how it should be. Yeah, so this is our SSC Lawrencer that came, came back from the paint shop and was in desperate need of reupholstering the interior. So let's take a look at the old pieces. Yes, let's do that. They were really discolored and brittle and everything, the old yeah, pieces. Yeah, so uh, this is the original uh, Pullman interior in blue. Uh, very beautiful fabric, but uh, in this state uh, it's a bit uh, worn out, uh, mostly because of the sunlight. Uh, you can see here it's all faded. Uh, some pieces are already uh, tearing apart. Um, the customer chose to uh, 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 not reupholster in the, the Pullman uh, Velours uh, uh, upholstery, but he wanted uh, a fully uh, leather interior. So the, uh, the whole interior will be retrimmed in uh, Mercedes spec uh, uh, blue leather with uh, the matching grain. Right. And the, the highs that you're going to use are here? Yes, this is, next uh, to us. This is the leather uh, we, uh, we ordered. Um, th these are the heights. Uh, this is how they uh, come to the shop uh, in raw state. Um, so it's uh, our job to, uh, to select uh, all the good pieces. Um, also uh, make sure there are no uh, scars in, uh, in, the, in the pieces we cut. So the whole interior has uh, no imperfections and the imperfections can be thrown away. Um, so let me show you how that, uh, what it looks like uh, over there. Right, so this is the, the part where we uh, tear apart the, um, the upholstery to make uh, the molds for the new uh, leather upholstery. Um, as you can see, this is the foam parts, a very good condition for uh, such an old car. Um, there's no uh, uh, gaps or things, so this, is, this all can be uh, reused. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I've already made the molds. Um, some pieces come in uh, paper because uh, uh, once torn apart, um, we have to perfect the, uh, the, the old pieces and make uh, some new ones, uh, make sure they're all symmetrical. Uh, and over here we have uh, the new pieces already in leather. We have two pieces because uh, we have uh, another car for a uh, bench collector um, in, uh, in a white upholstery. But let's focus on the blue one first because that's the car that's in the shop here. Um, so this, uh, the patterns look like this. Uh, all pre-cut it already um, because I've already done that. So let me show you how it looks on the on the foam part. So this is the uh, the upper part, and here we have the sides. Uh, we make little notches so we know uh, exactly that everything uh, fits in the right place. One pair of pants later. Well, different day, different time, and today we're back at the upholstery shop to take a look at the progress on our interiors. Of course, redoing interiors takes a lot of time, especially if you want them redone in the quality that we demand. But then again, Rome also wasn't built in a day, 
So let's take a look at the progress so far. Hey, Eric. Hey, welcome back. Welcome. Hi. You're laying out the center pieces of leather for the seats. Yeah, so we, uh, we came to the part uh, that we need to, uh, to make new center pieces with a uh, different design than the, the one we had with, uh, with the fabric. Mm -hmm. Because uh, with uh, uh, different materials, instead of fabric, we have leather now and that um, that calls for, uh, for uh, different types of technique. Not everything is possible uh, in leather, what is possible in the, right. in the fabrics and vice versa. So we make, uh, we make uh, little, uh, little changes. Um, so the, basically uh, uh, we have the, the sides of the, of the, the seats and the, the backrests we have mm -hmm. already uh, uh, well, completed and um, uh, the middle piece is uh, going uh, from back to front uh, just between these two uh, pieces only the the the, the blue uh, the blue um, interior will be different than it was as it was in the car right because first it was from fabric and now yes. it will be made out of leather yes okay well then I'll excuse you, let you do the work, do the magic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we'll right. see uh, how it comes out. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, enjoy. Great. Okay, and now you're adding fabric on the back of the leather piece. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, uh, the back side of the, of the middle piece mm -hmm. and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating, uh, I'm creating tubes so we can, uh, we can slide foam parts in. Okay. Well, let me try to get this straight. So, even now you see us working on the car itself. Some of these parts uh, are reupholstered, some of them are repainted because we want to make the interior of the car look spectacular. It all was a bit faded, a bit yellowish, uh, so we all painted it and uh, reupholstered it into clear white. Even door card holders. The parts for the C-pillars here and some parts are also already mounted such as the dashboard, the new redone, refinished wood and also the headliner inside the car. So it really is coming together now, the full package. Well guys, our SGS Gullwing is back in the showroom with a completely reupholstered interior. From the doors to the seats, to the back seats, the dashboard, the center console and the roof liner. Again, we want to give a big thank you to Erik from Jonkmans Stofferingen in Heerenveen for the amazing result and we can't wait to share it with you guys. So that is the end of our video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at benzcollector.snake and if you like this video leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Also let us know in the comments down below what more specific stuff you would like to see about any of the cars here 
and we'll see you in the next one.